Hi, this is Tim Houghton, and I'm in Portugal at the beginning of a three month trip in Europe. And I thought I'd just show you the, water, the uh, supplies I've brought with me for my painting tour. Um, I'm a big fan of watercolor and traveling with watercolor paints because they're light, they're easy to use, they dry fast, and uh, you don't have any problems getting them onto a, an airplane, but you do with maybe with oil paints. and. Um, so let me just show you first the paper that I use. I have it in this plastic bag which protects it as we travel. I've got two sizes here and one is, I cut down to 14 by 10. And I've got about 12 sheets of this. I prefer arches, arches is by far my favorite. If you can see right here, there's a dent in the paper because this is, a, I think it's a Hanimola, it's a softer paper. So it tends to dent and that makes it really difficult to use. <clears throat> you really don't want uh, any kind of damage to the paint paper. And this, these are quarter sheets of full-size watercolor paper that I've cut down. And I've got about, again, 12, I've got some cold press and some smooth, some uh, hot press. So that's basically the watercolor paper that I have with me. And I keep it safe, as I said, in this bag. Then um, I've got, this is my palette, which I put in a plastic bag and opens easily. Those are the colors that I already have. I've refilled these little trays with watercolor before I came, left New Zealand. And then on top of that, I have these other paints to use as refills. <clears throat> Should these get used up, I have these paints here including a gouache, gouache or white that I might be using. This one you can see already has leaked quite a bit. Um, it's not a problem because I can still use that paint, but that's why I do keep everything in, in a nice container. So there's, those are my paints, uh, kind of a mix of Daniel Smith and Winsor and Newton. Um, I have this little handy dandy um, <laughs> watercolor palette here. Uh, which has eight colors in it and very easy and light. I just carry this with me all the time along with these two water brushes that are just filled with water. There's a, a round pointy brush and a kind of a flatter one. Great to use with this because if I take these with me and a pad of paper, I don't need to take anything else. You've got your brushes, you're that, the water's already in there. And I've done a couple of sketches already, just quick sketches. This is from my hotel in Lisbon, just kind of make, more making notes of <clears throat> for the painting I'll do later. So this handy little sketch pad's quite good along with this and those two. I always carry a Swiss Army knife that's handy for things. This is for water that if I want to sit still and in one place for a while <clears throat> and paint, I can fill that with water. It's watertight so I can carry it with me and have that water for me. When I'm working with this palette and a little spritzer just to spray the paper. So everything here is very handy dandy. This is the little box, uh, pencil case I carry with me all the time with an eraser, uh, a blade just to sharpen my pencils. I've got a retractable pen, pencil here that I've always really liked. It's great for travel with. And a couple of pens, uh, colored pencils. That's what I carry with me every day. Um, then I have this, which has a, all of my supplies in it, including fresh erasers. It's got pencils, colored pencils and watercolor pencils. So um, everything I, I need pretty much. And these are quite handy. I can show you these. I just bought these before I left New Zealand. These are permanent ink, black ink, but with a chisel point. So I can get really fine lines like this. I just discovered these. And I put all these supplies um, in, in my post so you can see what I've got. So these will dry completely waterproof and I can wash over them in watercolor paint. Here's another one that's slightly bigger. So you get a really nice variety of 
textures. And um, as I said, what I like to do is wash over that. Also, I just got yesterday from an uh, internet uh, supply store in Spain, these two watercolor blocks, they're not pads. They're blocks because they sealed all around four sides. Pads are open usually on three sides. These are blocks. But I got these here in, they got them in Spain and had them sent to Portugal. And they're the same price. These are 640 grams, 300 pounds, much thicker paper than for the same price as I would have paid in New Zealand. So that was a good deal. I'm really happy with those. And these fit inside my shoulder bag that I will carry with me. In fact, they're just the right size. I tested to make sure they fit in. And this bag is great for traveling because it's a pack safe bag. It's got metal in it. It can't be um, cut open or sliced open as uh, at train stations or airports. Um, it's very, even the strap is safe and secure and everything in here is protected. Um, so it packs safe, really good for traveling and you don't have to worry about people cutting bags and stealing things from it. So that's the bag I take and carry with me every day. And brushes, again I've got a little roll up bamboo case. These are the brushes I have, two rounds, a hake, a flat, a couple of flats and a Chinese brush that will come to a really nice sharp point. It's not at the moment. But when it's wet, it's very calligraphic and gives beautiful brush strokes. And two rounds, uh, one's in Escoda from Barcelona. I'm hoping to visit the uh, factory where they make these in Spain. And that's it, very simple. This was a hake, and I actually just cut the end off because it was that much longer. I didn't really need that, so I just took a knife and cut the end off there. And that's, those are the brushes I use. Um, I always take a couple of paper towels or you can get them from your hotel room or as you travel. And um, I think that's about it. Oh no, it's not. I just got these two Daniel Smith watercolor sticks. It just arrived also from the same art, uh, online art store. And what I, I won't actually draw with these on the paper, but I'll use these as my colors get used up. I'll take a slice of this and put it in my watercolor box. And um, a lot of people are finding this easier and better way to travel and lighter than carrying heavy tubes of paint. So I think that's about it. Um, everything I've got is here. It's all easy to carry, light. Um, easy to, it dries fast, so if you're doing a sketch on the streets, um, we're backpacking around, so we're going to be traveling a lot, on and off buses and so on. So I need to make sure everything's small and flexible and light. And that's it. So we'll see how it goes. I'll do updates as we travel.